Hello, this is Data Sufficiency Lesson 3. In this, I will discuss questions on DS. Now, what you have to do, you have to first pause the video, try to solve each and every question yourself, then look at the way I have solved. Now, question says that is x greater than y? The equation is x is equals to y plus 3. You can take uh, one positive value, one negative value, you can check. Otherwise, straight away, you can say that x minus y is equals to 3. The difference is equals to 3. It means that x is automatically greater than y, whether x is positive or negative. If you are not uh, uh, comfortable in this, you can take the example x is equals to y plus 3. Can I say that y is 1, 1 plus 3, x should be equals to 4. I'm taking both positive number. Now, whatever the question is, x greater than y. 4 is greater than 1. Yes, x is greater than y. Our answer is yes. You take negative. Uh, you take x is equals to minus 8. Uh, what should be y? Can I say y should be minus 11 plus 3? Minus 11 plus 3 uh, will make minus 8. Both left hand side as well as right hand side are equal. Now, is x that is minus 8 greater than y that is minus 11? Yes, minus 8 is greater than minus 11. So, in both cases, whether you take x and y positive or negative, x will be greater than y. So, you are getting answer yes, unique answer. So this statement is sufficient to answer the question. Second is x is equal to 3 y second alone we have to check. Can I say that uh, if you take x uh, y as 3. So 3 3 is a x would be 9. Now what was the question is x greater than y. Yes. Take y negative. Uh, let's say minus 3. Then x would be minus 9. If y is minus 3, then x would be minus 9. Now, is minus 9 greater than minus 3? No. So, we are both yes and no are equal uh, valid possibilities. So, it means that this statement is not sufficient. Statement will be sufficient when you get a only yes or only no. When yes and no both are valid, it means that you are not getting a unique answer. This statement is not sufficient. No need to combine because we will combine only when first as well as second is not sufficient to answer the question. So answer to this question is one alone is sufficient but two alone is not sufficient that is option choice A will be your final answer. Now question number two, two says that is P greater than R. So first I will check one alone then I will check two alone then if, if there is eliminate then I will check one and two combine otherwise I won't check. Now is P greater than R? First P by Q, R is not there. So this statement is not sufficient. P by Q is equals to 3 by 4. I don't know uh, what is the connection between P and R. So R is not there. This statement is alone is not sufficient to tell. Second says that Q by R is uh, 4 by 5. Is this statement sufficient? No, because P is, uh, is not there. I need to compare P with R. Second statement, P is not there, so I can't say what will be the, uh, whether P is greater than R or not. Combine. I told you combine when one alone as well as two alone is not sufficient to answer the question, then you have to combine. Combine means that you have to assume that both the statements are correct. So it means that I am assuming that P by Q is equal to 3 by 4 as well as Q by R is equal to 4 by 5. Now multiply this these two equations. So what you will get if you multiply you will get P by Q into Q by R this will be equals to 3 by 4 into 4 by 5. Can I say that this you will get is equals this is equals to P by R. I am solving here. This you will get P by R is equals to your P by R will be equals to Q and Q will get cancelled out. P by R will be equals to 3 by 5. This is what I am getting by after combining. Now the question was is P greater than R? Uh, let me solve this question here. So from combine I got this. I am solving here. Combine uh, you got uh, P by R is equals to 3 by 5. This ratio is 3 by 5. Now is P greater than R? Again we can't say that. Very important some students say that. P by R ratio is 3 by 5, it means R is greater than P. No, you can't say that. It could be like this. For example, uh, P could be 6 and R could be 10. Again, the ratio is 3 by 5. 
if p is 6 r is 10 what was the question is p greater for this ratio i'm checking if p is 6 r is 10 what was the question is p greater than r answer is no but it could be negative uh, for example minus 3 upon minus 5 again the ratio is 3 by 5 uh, you only know that the ratio of two numbers p and r is 3 by 5 6 by 10 ratio is also 3 by 5 minus 3 by minus 5 ratio is also 3 by 5 minus and minus will get cancelled out now what the question says that is p that is minus 3 greater than r minus 5 yes minus 3 r p is greater than minus 5 so you are getting a yes as well as no simultaneously it means that yes and no both are a valid possibility so you are not getting a unique answer this statement is not sufficient to answer the question even after combining you are not able to answer the question so answer will be e that is statement one and two together are not sufficient to answer the question question three is which among a b c is the least now you should first try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved First one alone we will check a is equals to b by 3 is equals to c by 4. You can take any example you want. Better to solve this question with example. Uh, can I take that you can make all this equals to 4. So can I say 4 is equals to 12 by 3 is equals to 16 by 4. All are equal. 4 4 and 4 now what is your b your b is 12 your c is 16 and your a is 4 now which of the following is least you need to tell which among a b c is the least so i am getting a is the least i am getting unique answer my a is the least so you are getting a is equals to least number 4 4 is least b is 12 c is 16 but very important be very careful uh, nothing is given about a b c it could be positive as well as negative numbers so when i say given to me that a is equals to b by 3 is equals to c by 4 it could be negative also can i say this minus 4 this is minus 12 by 3 and this is equals to minus 16 by 4 both all numbers are equal minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 now which among the following is least now your c is minus 16 b is minus 12 and a is your minus 4 now which is the least you can answer is c is the least so i'm not getting a unique answer but what's my question which among a b c is the least so answer is one side i'm getting a is the least when i'm take negative i'm getting c is the least so i'm not getting a unique answer this statement is not sufficient to answer the question two alone a b c all are equal to zero so this statement is can't we can't say which of the following is least or most maximum only thing is given to us is that a b c e are greater than zero so second alone is not sufficient to answer the question once you combine a is equals to b by 3 equals to c by 4 this will be valid along with a b c greater than equals to zero all are positive numbers so when all are positive numbers you can take uh, a this equals to 4 now we can't take a b and c negative every time we have to take a b c and positive so this equals to 12 by 3 this is equals to 16 by 4 so which is the least a is the least a is your 4 as in the one on one i discussed now take any possibilities when a b c are positive definitely a will be the least number because uh, you can also solve like this if you not, not, don't want to take the number a is a what is b b is thrice of a and c is four times of a c is four times of a now what is the least number b is thrice of a it means that b is bigger than a b is three times a c is four times a c is also greater than a because all numbers are positive given to us we are assuming that both statements are correct. So it means that A is the least. Or otherwise you can take the number 4 is equal to 12 by 3 is equal to 16 by 4. Again, uh, you will find A as the least. You can take any other possibilities. I am just taking, uh, uh, I am making them 4. You can make them 5, 5, 5, 5. Again, the least will be A. Now, what was the question? 
we who among which among a b c is the least so answer is a is the least so it means that after combining we are getting a unique answer a is the least number so answer would be c that is both statement together are sufficient to answer the question but neither statement alone is sufficient to answer the question question 4 is x and y are positive integers given to you is x even now 4x plus y first statement say that 4x plus y your this is equals to odd number now 4x is always even whether x is even or not 4x is always even plus y is equals to odd now what should be the y so that it becomes odd you know that even plus odd will make odd even plus even is even so even plus odd will make it odd number now our question is not about y our question is about x is x even answer is may or may not because 4x will always be even either x is even or not for example uh, if you take 4 into 3 i am taking x as 3 4 into 3 plus y is 7 4 into 3 12 plus 7 19 so y is odd answer is odd answer should be odd or you can take 4 into 6 24 plus y is 3 is equals to 27 now this is your y this is your y the final answer is odd final answer is odd now what about x here x is 3 that is odd number here x is even so x can be even x can be odd both are valid possibility now what was the question is x even answer is may or may not be so this statement is not sufficient to answer the question second alone 5x plus 6y this is equals to even 5x plus 6y equals to even number answer after equal to must be even 5x plus 6y is even definitely this, this we have to assume true now 6y will always be even 6y will always be equals to even number because 6 into something is even number now answer is also even now what even plus even will make even number we can't take 5x as odd so 5x is definitely even now how 5 into x can be even definitely x is even otherwise 5x can't be even 5 into 2 5 into 4 5 into 6 will be even so if 5x is even definitely we can say that x is even for example 5 into 2 5 into 4 all will make even number but 5 into 3 will not make even number so x can't be odd so x would be even 5 into something is even it means x is even what was the question is x even answer is yes x is a even number this statement alone is sufficient to answer the question our answer choice is b b for bombay question 5 you should first try to solve yourself given that x and y are positive integer what is the value of x now the major problem with uh, in ds with the student is that whenever they see two equation they can think that by so while solving the two equations simultaneously we will get the value of x and well y now in ds very be very careful first you have to check one alone then you have to check two alone now 3x minus 2y this is equals to 5 now what will be 3x 3x is equals to 2y plus 5 now what will be x x is equals to 2y plus 5 by 3 given that x and y are positive integers now x and y are positive integers i will check now what are how many solutions i am getting can y be equals to 1 so 5 plus 2 7 by 3 no can y be 2 2 to the 4 plus 5 yes y can be 2 i am starting with y 1 because positive integer minimum value of y possible is 1 1 is not valid so i will try 2 because they should be integer so 2 to 2 into 2 4 plus 5 9 by 3 x would be equals to 3 can y be 3 3 uh, you have to check 3 to the 6 plus 5 no can y be 4 4 to the 8 Plus five thirteen no can y be five yes y can be five two five is a ten plus five fifteen by three five x would be five so what was the question is the value of x so I'm not getting a unique answer x value could be three and there will be so many solution there will be infinite positive integer solution for this equation what was the question what is the value of x I told you in ds the statement will be sufficient only when we get a unique answer so I'm getting two answer both are valid and there will be not be two just two answer. There will be infinite uh, possibilities. 
so this statement is not sufficient i'm not getting a unique answer x could be 3 or it could be 5 or it could be anything else number second alone check this 4x plus 3y equals to 10 can i say 4x would be equals to 10 minus 3y x would be equals to 10 minus 3y by 4 again x and y are positive integers so i will try with a minimum value of y minimum value of y when x y is a positive integer would be 1 if you put y is equals to 1 if you put y is equals to 1 10 minus 3 7 by 4 this is a fraction no need we don't need fraction can y be 2 y can be 2 3 2 are 6 10 minus 6 4 by 4 yes x is equals to 1 integer solution we are getting can y be equals to 3 if y is 3 10 minus 9 1 by 4 again fraction will be not possible anything 3 plus very important anything 3 plus value maybe or 4 plus if you put more than uh, 4 or 4 plus value if you take 4 or 4 plus greater than equals to 4 for all values of y greater than equals to 4 x will be negative we don't need uh, negative numbers because given that x and y are positive very important for all values of y greater than equals to 4 this x will be negative whether integer or fraction but we don't need negative numbers x and y are positive so very important i'm getting only one solution that is x equals to 1 y is equals to 2 which is a valid in this equation what was the question what is the value of x the value of x is equals to 1 i'm getting a unique answer this statement is sufficient no need to combine very very important question so answer is uh, b b4 bombay second statement alone is sufficient to answer the question so that was all about data sufficiency lesson 3 questions on ds